And we want to show you the fire at the energy substation on the West Bank that knocked out power to more than 9,000 people today. It also shut down some of the sewer pumps, so neighbors were told to limit water use, including flushing toilets. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton is at the substation on Patterson Street. Ashley. It just was burning out of control. Thousands of West Bank residents were left in the dark for several hours after a fire broke out at an energy substation. Residents who live near the substation described this morning's blaze. And I heard the boom and I looked out the window. The fireball was, it must have had to be at least six feet high. Ran across their lawn at the power plant, burning out of control. A neighbor brought me outside because I heard her holler. And when she heard, same thing, popping, cracking, then smoke, then you hear a little boom. On from them. Kennedy says she was frightened for her family. I mean, it was very scary, you know, because we thought the fire was going to run up the, uh, the wires and go off our house because we live right across the street. The fire also caused the sewage and water board pumping station that services the area to go offline. Residents were asked to conserve water until the power was restored. The power came back on around 1 p.m but some area residents were prepared for it to be out much longer. So all I could do is open the blinds and have flashlights and stuff. So, so kind of yeah. ready for some cases overnight out of water. Those living around the area are happy no one was hurt, but they weren't surprised about the fire. It's been in the past sparks might have ran up the wires and energy came out, but nothing like that. Energy and the fire department says that the cause for the fire is still under investigation. We'll have any updates for you guys coming up. Susie, Kurt. Boy, what a day to have no heat in the morning and then not be able to use the water. Thanks, Ashley.